So this is the second week and uh, like in the first week we also have a challenge for you in this week. And you saw in uh, one of the last clips you saw in the, in the lecture room you saw uh, students throwing paper airplanes which you then stabilized by moving the center of gravity forward. And you saw most of them throwing this kind of paper airplane which, uh, which is not automatically stable and sometimes needs a bit of extra weight using a paper clip. Well, you've learned now about forces, you've learned about moments, and uh, to really try out these concepts, you even learn a bit about structures, you learn about wing shapes, airfoils. So to try out your knowledge, I would like to challenge you to build an aircraft. Of course, you're gonna wonder, uh, how can I ever do that? But of course, I'm still referring to paper aircraft, but making slightly more complex variants, like, like this one, for instance, which has, which has a cambered airfoil, but still is easy to make and which challenges you to think about stability, uh, the moment caused by a cambered airfoil, in which direction is it? I can already tell you that because of the lift being generated by mo most of the, the backside of the airfoil, there will be a, a downward moment generated, which you need to do something about. You can move the wings, you can change the center of gravity, you can make canard or con uh, conventional tail configurations, and try out a number of these planes to see which one is stable and which one is, uh, is unstable and what you can do about it. And come up with, uh, with uh, nice designs. You can even add propulsion, even though you didn't have the lecture, but by, by using an electric band and an, uh, an elastic band, I should say, not electric, an elastic band and a paper propeller. You can even add propulsion. And if you go on the web, you will find there are actually contests on paper airplanes which look quite complex. So I would like to challenge you to try out your knowledge in designing and building a paper airplane.